Your life is organized and in shape and you're still quite active, but then you get this diagnosis. I was in shock. My life was very active, you know, always, always doing something every day. But I started to feel some tightness in my groin. I didn't think much of it because, you know, I just thought it was aging and some of the hard workouts I was doing. It was time to have a full checkup and there was this rapid increase in my PSA level, which uh, the doctor I was seeing found a bit alarming and I ended up getting a bone scan, a CT scan and a biopsy. And uh, through that process, uh, my doctor informed me that besides having prostate cancer, metastatic prostate cancer that wasn't curable, I also had a uh, cancerous tumor on my kidney at the same time. It was a gut punch. One in eight gentlemen will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime, and it is the most common cancer that will impact men. Prostate cancer can be staged by imaging, by a clinical examination, and by blood tests. When we see that you have early localized disease that's based around a blood test called PSA, but more advanced disease might be informed by special imaging. This could be CT, bone scan, and MRIs. Metastatic prostate cancer means that the prostate cancer that started in the prostate gland has moved outside of the pelvis. One of the things that made it difficult was at that point, I really didn't understand if I had some sort of a genetic mutation that uh, I would be passing on to my children. So I, I got some genetic testing done. And so it was determined that it was a spontaneous mutation, a random mutation. Genetic testing in prostate cancer is very important to understand the molecular building blocks that might impact not only our normal cells, but cancer cells. If somebody has been found to have a mutation or an alteration at that molecular DNA level, this might inform what we could use for treatments in the later lines of disease. It's something that we could also be informed of how things might unfold in the disease course and give an idea of prognosis. And if we identify that there is some alteration, we should be interrogating whether this could be inherited and passed down the family lines so it could impact other family members and maybe detect disease earlier with screening. Receiving this kind of uh, news can be very difficult. It's hard to think that, y that your life has not changed forever. My family has been terrific at supporting me. We decided early on we would stay positive and we we're gonna make the most out of every day that we had together. And I think that's important for anyone that's, that's dealing with this disease. Patients with prostate cancer and their family members have many questions, and Procure is a great resource that can help. Procure is an organization supported and recognized by the Canadian Urologic Association, and their nurses are there to help seven days a week. I was put on treatment in 2022. In uh, late 2024, I started a different medication, and since then my PSA has stabilized and I'm feeling pretty good and I'm able to participate in most of my activities again. Thankful that I, I caught it when I did, got treatment to keep managing it while I could because since then I have a granddaughter. I was able to officiate at my daughter's wedding and those are all huge milestones. If you do get a diagnosis of prostate cancer. If you can get genetic testing, make sure you do it. Talk to your doctor who is looking after your prostate cancer to determine whether genetic testing is appropriate for you.